Hi world travelers, it's Miss Mojangles and I'm going to teach you today how to fly on an airplane with your hoops. This is 18 LED hoops, 18. And if I can do it, so can you. And I'm gonna show you how. For my sake, I really hope this works because it works every time and I'm about to film it. So hopefully it'll work when I actually film it. Bye. We're going to Los Angeles flight 486. And if you just arrived in the waiting area, there is no more space for you carry on back. If you need anything out of your bag, please take it out. We're gonna need to check it. about to carry 18 hoops on an airplane. Good morning. Hi. Do you guys have a closet I could put these in or behind the seats in first class? That's where they usually throw them. Yeah, like there. You can leave it here. Yeah, or it can just, um, I can help you. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Good morning from LAX. Today I'm flying to Houston to meet up with an amazing hula hooper, Katie Sunshine. We're doing a gig tonight. Last time I saw you guys at the airport, I was bragging about how easy it is to get 18 hula hoops on one airplane, and it did work. This time I've got, I've got 10 hoops, some LEDs, some not LEDs, and I'm trying something different. I'm not putting them in my closed huggy. I have them in an open huggy shaped like a donut. I feel like to not let a donut filled with hula hoops on an airplane, you kind of have to have no salt. I forgot to tag my donut just in case I have to put it under the plane, but I'm pretty sure that no one's gonna mistake this for their own. This is my first time on a Spirit Airline. It's really nice, actually. These seats have so much room. Well, this is by far the easiest boarding experience ever because I basically brought my hula hoop huggy on. I talked to the flight attendants. They said, we don't have a closet, but we'll walk them to the seats in the back. And just like that, 10 hoops on an airplane, so it is possible. I did ask them if we could organize a flight-wide mannequin challenge, which they said no, but that would have been cool, right? Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. You're I'm making a vlog post on how to fly with hula hoops. Nice! Yeah, so you got, you got any advice? To hula yes, hula actually always bring it a cover to never get loose. And Andy, give it a cover, see? And get a cover inside. Number one, number two. After the cover, you ask the flying attendant. A nice flying attendant to put them in the back of the plane for you. Good luck and keep being awesome as you are. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh. How nice was that crew? Not only did they um, take my hoops for me, but they also, you know, were part of the vlog. So that was really cool. And now I'm in Houston. And I'm gonna go meet up with Katie Sunshine and another hooper named Lydia, who I'm really excited to meet, never met her. And we're gonna go slay this event. So it's the holidays, the airports are a little crazy right now. I'm gonna hop off, get some coffee, and I'll check in with you later. Bye. Let's fly, let's fly away. Texas and we're just driving and uh, I see out of the car something amazing I actually think it's behind this building yeah here it is I see something and I literally scream because it's my favorite art installation from Burning Man and it's here in Houston Texas and I think it's time to show you guys what it is Guys, can we just end every gig this way? Yes, this is amazing. Oh my god.
here it is, my favorite art installation from Burning Man. Got Katie and Lydia back there, chillaxing, and it's just so beautiful. Just really glad we could experience this tonight. Thank you.